Hey guys, so this um, statue I actually got from a My Hero Academia mystery box. It's kind of like a mystery box that you just order. It's from Cosplay FTW, not sponsored by them, just a disclaimer. But um, anyways, I purchased another mystery box from them. And if you guys seen that video, it's in my hauls playlist. But if you've seen it already, you would have known that this is one of the things that I got in it. That's super cool. Um, it's a Ban Presto figure. It says DXF and Crane King. I'm pretty sure you can win this in like a crane game. It does have like some scuffy marks here, but that's okay. It's just a box. I'll probably still keep it anyways. So yeah, it says number three. So I guess there's numbers to this like um series. But anyways, there's... Shoto and then there's Deku so I guess you can win one of two like get one of two if you play the crane games in Japan and stuff like that so yeah Anyways, I don't have a lot of Shoto merch so this is a good opportunity to have something that's like Shoto themed um the reason why I don't have that much of him, to be honest, is because I just have a McFarlane's toy um, figure of him, and that's it. Because I thought that would be enough, especially because there's... I like Kirishima and Bakugo a lot, so I've been collecting more of them, and I thought I wouldn't just try to recollect every single character in, like, a different thing. So I have the McFarlane toys, and then some statues but most of them are Kirishima and Bakugo so I don't really want to collect every single character in like many different forms so yeah so it comes in a package and I believe everything would be kind of like in pieces which is normally what happens I don't think I need to cut it to be honest not that much that's actually in pieces, only three. Yeah, but this is normal for like Japanese statues, I feel like. Okay, so these. I guess they're still real effects when it comes to his. Um, for those of you, it's not going to be a smooth thing, but, um, my large Bakugo and Kirishima, like, Kirishima has, like, hardening texture on his arms. It's hard to see here, but Bakugo is also the explosive and stuff. It's made from Ben Presto as well, but I guess this one is kind of a smaller, a smaller one, and it's just a pose, like, a cool pose, so I guess it's just like this. Super cool. I do like all the paint job and everything, like the detailing of the wrinkles of the clothing and also just like the overall shading. It's not much shading to be honest, but there is a l quite a bit on his like hero suit, like the blue part. And the hair texturing is really nice too. Overall, this is a really nice statue to have, and it has two pegs. So one is bigger and one is smaller, and so you just have to put it on here, I believe. Not too sure if it fits properly. Let me just see.
So I think it only fits on the smaller peg, and then the bigger peg is just to keep him in place. So yeah, pretty good. Um, sorry this was a pretty short video, to be honest, but um, I'm pretty busy nowadays, so I'm trying to like film and everything. But yeah, overall the detailing is great, and the figure is nice. Um, I don't know the pricing of this one though. Just because it came in a mystery box, and I didn't even see this online, so I didn't look at their website and stuff for the pricing of these. I do know um, these types of figures, though. These types of statues are at least $30 each Canadian, so I guess you could say that's like the rough price from $30 to $50. But I'm really happy that this came in like a mystery box because normally I probably wouldn't buy it myself. But it is something that I would have wanted in the future anyways. So yeah, I so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!